Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Quincy Dobbs and I'm the president of the Flint Theater Organ Club, which is the organ is housed here at the Institute of Music. If you've ever been on the stage at MacArthur um, Recital Hall and you looked over to the right side of the stage, you probably have seen this monstrosity um, covered up. We keep it covered when we're not playing. Um, but it's housed here at the MacArthur Recital Hall. It used to be at the Capitol Theater downtown Flint. Um, um, it was installed in the early 1900s and the theater organ was used to accompany silent movies. And so because it was meant to be used for silent movies, um, it has all kinds of bells and whistles that um, a church organ, a classical organ, does not have. So I was very happy when um, Alicia asked me to give a demonstration and play a little bit of, of music for um, this instrument. The company was Barton, and so this has become known as our Lady Barton Theater Organ. So you can see the chambers up there, um, and um, we're going to take a tour up to the, the chambers behind the scrim and the screen um, in MacArthur Recital Hall because in the 70s, 1970s, when the organ was dismantled from the Capitol and it was sold to the Institute of Music for one dollar. So, um, and I am so glad it was because many of these theater organs, when they were no longer useful for silent movies, ended up in trash bins, ended up in um, um, just a really bad state of affair. So the Flint Theater Organ Club moved it here, put the pipes up in the chambers, and um, has upkept it since, um, since the 70s. So um, uh, an organ is this instrument that has keyboards, we call them manuals, this instrument has three manuals, and um, um, each manual has kind of a different function. The middle manual is called the great organ, and so these pipes would be louder, they would be um, a for a fuller sound, and then on this manual, we have the accompaniment stops. Now, um, a, an organ uses stops that um, come from the symphony. We have a flute stop, we have a tuba stop, we have trumpet, we have oboe, and the way the pipe is designed um, um, gives it an approximation of um, an orchestral sound. But the organ has something different that's only an organ stop, and this is called the diapason. It all, this instrument has a lot of vibrato stops, so I'm going to take the vibrato off. We call it tremulant, and um, this is just the pure sound of the diapason. Now, um, you might see all of these numbers on the, the, um, these stops. So this eight foot right here is middle C. When I add this four foot, it plays this middle C, but you um, divide this pipe in half and you get an octave. So, so when I push this one key, I'm playing the middle C and the octave above it. And then acoustically, when I push this two foot piccolo, I'm playing middle C, an octave above it, and an octave above it, I am playing three pipes. So a full sound in an organ, it has so many pipes playing. So also I can push this 16 foot, which gives us this octave lower C. So when I push this one note, I'm playing this 16 foot, eight foot, four foot, and two foot. Mm -hmm. 
so you hear how full that sound is. So um, um, let me just play a little bit for you, and I will change stops hopefully along the way. Now, um, you might know this song if you've ever been to Disney World in Florida, all right? So I'm just going to use that theme just to um, showcase different stops. And so um, it's a small world after all. this instrument was used to accompany silent movies, let me just show you a couple of the bells and whistles that this instrument has. It is the coolest thing to play um, to accompany silent movies here in MacArthur um, because we have all of these bells and whistles, literally. So um, if the person is being chased by the cops, We've got Now that's an old-timey police siren. But um, if during the um, police chase, um, the guy runs a red light, right? And so um, um, 
this sound, auga, right? The the car scene is really in trouble. Then um, he's coming across up to um, 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 he's coming up to a railroad track. So of course. The conductor has to blow the, the whistle to um, warn that the tracks are coming. Now, we also have this really, really sweet sound. If um, you and your boyfriend or girlfriend or just your friend are out in the... Um, the um, underneath an apple tree, it, the wind is just slightly blowing, and the birds are just giving you a lullaby while you are relaxing outside. So those are a couple of the things that, um, that we have to play with, and um, um, plus all of the full sounds of the instrument. All right, so, um, Let's go up into the chambers for just a few minutes and let me show you what, um, what really is the heart of an organ. Yes, it's the keyboard here, but it's what's up in the chamber. Hello, I'm up here and um, we are going to take a tour of the organ chamber room. Now it's kind of loud up here because the, the wind is um, in the reservoirs. And, but I just want you to see what is behind the scrim at the MacArthur Recital Hall. So come on up. So, well, so welcome to the organ chambers. So these shutters right here, I open and close with my feet. Um, this is the volume control. When these shutters are closed, then the sound is boxed up here. When I open it up, the sound goes out into the auditorium. So this is some of the bells and whistles in percussion that we have. You see the cassinets, you see the, the toy, um, a cymbal that we can play on the theater organ. Here's the cassinets. Now up behind, there is um, the bass drum, and then there is the, the cymbals. So all of this is controlled by air. And so this is one of the rest one of the reservoirs. So the big blower motor downstairs sends air up through these pipes. And so this right here is where the air is stored. It then comes up and um, is underneath here. So um, you see the sign, please do not touch the pipes, but I can touch the pipes. <laughs> um, so the sound is here when I push the button and have the pull the um, the tab pulled, it makes a sound. So for every key, for every rank of pipes, there has to be a pipe. So um, if there are 45 keys on the manual, um, there has to be 45 pipes. So um, it's laid out. Now see this big, that's the air coming up from the blower motor downstairs. So this is a reed pipe and you see it's made of metal. It's a um, lead aluminum alloy um, combination. So because it's got lead in it, we don't lick the pipes, okay? Um, but the cool thing is when the air comes up, 
it um, vibrates this reed. And it's just like a trumpet. Um, it sounds like a trumpet or a tuba where you have to buzz into the mouthpiece. And then at the very top of there, that's the tuning coil. And that's where the sound comes out and bounces off the wall and goes out into the auditory. Now, let me show you. So, see that big pipe? That is a low C on the, the keyboard. And this, this is a string sound. And this is that, um, um, the strings used that I played earlier. Now, this is all of the, um, um, the switches to make all of the, the electricity happen down there. So, now to, today, all of this could be cr controlled by a, a little computer module that was like four inches by four inches. Um, um, but back in the day, they didn't have this technology. They did have the ability to, to create this. So all of this is the switching me mechanisms for what happens at the keyboard and which pipes play up here. So, um, we also have we also have pipes that are made of wood, and so these are the flute pipes. Okay, and then let me just um, um, take a picture of all of the different kinds of um, um, reed pipes down there. So let me get out of the way and he will take, show you those pictures. And so you see the oboe, you see the, the viol celeste, the viol orchestra, the clarinet, the vox humana. And then right here is the tubular bells. So I have chimes that I can play. And then you can see the big, big 16 foot link pipe, the wooden pipe back there. So for that low sound, the pipe has to be 16 feet long, the lowest pipe. And then as, as you might know, um, the frequency is way low and the length is long, and as the length gets shorter and the frequency gets higher, then we come to a little pipe like this. Now, um, I, um, the, the tuner tunes it up or down to um, um, get the correct tuning. Um, underneath here is filled with air, and it rests in this hole. And so when I push the key down on the console, the air comes in and this is what you get. All right, that rather sounds like a dog whistle, but this pipe is very short. The frequency is very high. So the note is gonna be at the upper end of the keyboard. So let me carefully put this back. All right. So here we have um, another toy that you wouldn't have on a classical instrument because this is the um, um, the marimba. So I have all of those, and if um, Jay will take a picture, you can see the console down there where um, the performer would be playing.
special thank you to um, Alicia Bird Johnson now um, for asking me to show, show you some things about the Barton Theater, Oregon. And um, when we open up from COVID, anytime you want to play, anytime you want to have a tour, um, I would be more than happy for you to sit down and experience this instrument which is housed in the MacArthur Recital Hall. So um, good luck in all of your musical endeavors and um, thanks for joining me, um, Dr. Quincy, and um, take care. <laughs>